I am on my way to work right now and I figured let's do a day in the life of a medical assistant. Everybody loves these videos. They are my most viewed and most requested, so let's do it. It's currently 8 a.m. I don't start till 8.30 today. It's raining, as you can see. I'm just getting off the highway. I'm like, you know what, let's film. I have nurse only today, which is where I, the patients, I need to put my arm down. Sorry, this is gonna be a bad angle, but you get the point. Also, I have like zen on my chin, so that's lovely. It kinda hurts too. Anywho, I'm doing nurse only, and no, I'm not a nurse, I'm a medical assistant. Duh. But nurses and MAs do them at our clinic. Basically, patients come in for their depo shots. I work in an OBGYN clinic for incision checks after C sections, for blood pressure checks, for non stress tests for our pregnant patients. Basically, they come in, they don't need to see a doctor. Obviously, if they have concerns, a doctor will pop in and answer questions. But if it's straightforward and to the point, the nurse or MA can just kind of do their thing and then send them on their way. So I don't work with a provider today. That's why I think I'll be able to get away with filming. I'll try to get as much as I can. Obviously, I mean, I can't show patients. That's self-explanatory. And if I have a super busy schedule, like a lot of patients, I don't know how much time I'll have to pick up my phone. But like when I draw up a depo injection, I'll try to like film it at least a little bit. Um, I mean, we'll see what I can get, but I am about to be pulling in and then I'm starving. So I'm going to have to make breakfast. I brought cucumbers, a bagel. I have it in the fridge from the weekend. I think it'll still be good and cream cheese. So, I mean, I'll show you guys that. <laughs> and this is my first day going to work with my new hair. So I have it down right now. I'm sure I'll be putting it up as soon as I have a patient. Um, but I should not be filming and driving, but I don't have anywhere to put my phone and I wanted to film an intro. So I'm pulling it now and I will keep you guys updated and what my day brings. Nice and rainy today. Happy Monday. All right, a majority of this video will be voiceover just so I can explain things a little bit better. So here I am on my way up to the clinic and then I'm just gonna use my little fingerprint scan in, do my self monitoring and all that good COVID stuff. And then I make breakfast usually within the first hour of getting there. So I've been loving this bagel, cream cheese, cucumber and seasoning little combo it's so good and then filling up my water of course and here's our tiny little break room that they shove like 20 of us in and as you can see I totally burnt my bagel but it's fine it still tasted good seriously obsessed with it you guys need to try it if you haven't yet it's so bomb all right, so my first patient of the morning was going to be a pregnant mom. She needed a non-stress test, and we abbreviate that as an NST. So I'm just getting the room ready, putting the little straps or strips across the bed so it's easy once she gets up there. And I forget why she needed it. I think she had um, hypertension and was advanced maternal age, meaning she was above the age of 35. My next patient was another pregnant mom who was only, I think, 18 weeks and she needed the McKenna injection. So the McKenna is just the name of it, but it's really progesterone. And we give this to moms who have history of preterm delivery. So if they have had a baby at like 33 weeks, their next pregnancy, they are offered or recommended depending on, you know, everything the McKenna injection. So it comes out super slow. It's like syrup, as you can see, and it goes in just as slow. So people do not like getting this one and it usually goes right in the butt.
And then that first NST was done, so I'm just cleaning the bed and the machine and getting it all set up for the next one because I had two um, this particular day in the morning. Okay guys, it is 12.30. I just ate lunch. Forgot to show you guys. But I have some charting and catching up to do. My morning was crazy. Everything was just kind of a fiasco, but we're good now. Afternoon should be better. Sorry, I'm talking quiet. These door, these um, rooms are not very soundproof, but oops, my finger's on the camera. So my next patient after lunch is gonna be an incision check. So I'll show you guys how I set up for that. Everyone does it a little different, but And then I headed back to my desk and chugged some water because I was so thirsty and needed to hydrate. And then my next patient arrived, so I was just doing some pre-charting and going through her chart, seeing if I needed to know anything. And then my incision check um, lady went well, so I just had to go in, clean the room, and set up for another one because I had, again, another incision check. some more and that just wasn't cutting it so I made some tea. I've been really enjoying doing this in the afternoon as a pick-me-up instead of coffee um, and then I just don't get that like gut rot from the coffee. The tea just it satisfies me. It's super nice and then I'm just you know moisturizing my hands because they get so dry and I decided I had not cleaned my stethoscope in probably a couple days so I like to take a little alcohol wipe and just wipe it down it gets so dirty I don't know how it's so gross but I try to wipe that down a few times a day but um, I've been slacking <laughs> Then I headed back into an exam room for my last patient of the day. This was a middle-aged woman here for her Depo injection. So Depo is a form of birth control. It is a shot that they get every three months and she tolerated it well and I sent her on her way and then that was the end of my day. All done, leaving now. And it's like 4.15 I think. My last patient was at, I don't know, 3.30? Try not to get the name of the clinic in the back just because of privacy reasons. I think it was in there, I don't know. I don't really know how much footage I actually ended up getting. So I guess we'll see once I piece everything together. I hope it's enough to make like 
a substantial vlog. I'm guessing I'll have to do a lot of voiceover parts because obviously I wasn't like talking. Talking during all of it, if you know what I mean. Also my um, works logo is right here. So I'm trying not to show that either. Not that I really care, but I don't know. I feel like whatever. I'm going home now. Okay. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and day in the life of a medical assistant. Normally I work with a provider, but he was out today. So I did again, what I said, no, those nurse onlys. I had a no show this afternoon. Um, so then I just kind of helped around other providers and did miscellaneous things. Um, but now I'm going to head home and start editing this vlog and see where it, um, see how it turns out. But thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers. Like that's crazy to me. I'm at like over 5,000 now, like 5,100 something. Like I am growing faster than I know what to do with. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And follow me on Instagram if you're not already. It's just sophia.d.dries. I'll put it in the um, description box below. But yes, thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to me. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got to see a little bit more of behind the scenes of a medical assistant. I know a lot of you are either thinking about being an MA or you're in MA, MA school or you're already an MA or you really have no, you really don't care, but you're still watching. So thank you to whatever situation you are in. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.